New tonight, new technology could be on the way to track sex offenders in our state, and it could look different, worn on wrists instead of ankles. Our Ali Espinosa joins us now live from the Ori County Courthouse. So, Ali, you spoke with the solicitor's office about what it takes for sex offenders to be tracked. What did you learn? Well, Rachel, the main thing I was told is it takes certain factors for sex offenders to be monitored. It's a case by case basis, but I'm told it's all to keep the community safe. The balance is we got to protect society from you. 15th Circuit solicitor Jimmy Richardson has worked on many sex crimes throughout his career, but he says they never get easier. He says right now he's working on 20 different cases of sex offenders seeking removal from South Carolina's lifetime sex offender registry. As solicitors, we have an opportunity to um, um, say we don't agree with uh, this person coming off. Richardson says the court also has an opportunity to determine whether certain sex offenders should be GPS monitored. It's a topic he says that's been debated for years. In South Carolina, only sex offenders who have committed criminal sexual conduct in the first degree and towards minors need to be monitored. The State Department of Probation's Parole and Pardon is responsible for tracking those sex offenders. You know, if you look at sex offender registry across the state, you know, there's multiple offenders, but, you know, for example, in Horry County, I believe there's over 700 offenders. Uh, but, you know, right now we supervise 75 of those offenders in Horry County. Um, so our department monitors sex offenders, but those that are actually on probation and parole. And right now, the agency is testing out new forms of monitoring devices, including a wrist device that they say is similar to a watch. But Richardson says a judge can also determine whether a sex offender should be monitored. But a judge could put uh, ankle monitor as part of probation or parole for anybody they saw fit to, even if the statute didn't cover it. Uh, now, I'm embarrassed at it. You can always look up to see if any sex offenders are living in your area. We'll have that link posted on WMBFnews.com. Levin Conway, Ali Spinoza, WMBF News.